Well, OSHA says that regulations and safety precautions really need to be in place to prevent serious accidents. And they say in this case in Lancaster, Walker International events fell short when it came to putting up the tent and heeding weather warnings. It was a frightening scene, winds whipping, a circus tent in Lancaster collapses, trapping people, killing a father and daughter, and injuring dozens of others, including two circus employees. Now, five months later, the U.S. Department of Labor's Occupational Safety and Health Administration has completed its investigation and found that the tent was not put up properly or secured during the bad weather. It was not properly staked. Uh, the stakes were not of the right size, design. Um, they did not follow the professional engineering engineers designed to specifically erect the tent. In its report, OSHA says that there were seven warnings broadcasted by the National Weather Service, which included hazardous weather outlooks, a severe thunderstorm watch, and anticipated damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. Yet Walker International events did not have their workers take the tent down. Our investigation determined that they were in violation of exposing the employees working in the tent to uh, serious hazard and injury. Cole says there were numerous other violations as well outside of the tent, and citations have been issued as well as fines. No enforcement action that we take will bring back uh, the, the victims to their families and the communities, and that going forward we, we want to make sure that we send the message to this employer and other employers that they need to follow proper procedures when they're working outside uh, in inclement weather or, you know, the heat, cold, and that an incident like this does not occur in the future. Now, we did try to contact Walker International Events, which is based out of Florida. However, we were unable to reach them. But OSHA says that they will be meeting with the company on Wednesday to discuss this matter further. Reporting live in Concord, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9. And tonight, one of the dozens of people who was there after the tent collapsed is talking to News 9. WMUR Stephanie Woods continues our live team coverage of this breaking story in Lancaster tonight, where this tragedy happened. So, Stephanie, what was her reaction to this report? Well, she was very surprised. Joanne Whiting says that the community is still recovering after last August, a tent collapse right here on the Lancaster Fairgrounds. She says after she hears about OSHA's report that the tent collapse could have been prevented, she says it's little comfort. Now, Whiting was at home on August 3rd when her husband, the deputy chief of Lancaster Fire Department, got a call that a tent had collapsed at the circus. She and her daughter followed him to the fairgrounds and helped search for injured people and pulled them from the tent. Whiting says she had hoped that the tent collapse was just a freak accident. It makes me pretty sad. It, ma it makes me sad because I was really hoping that wasn't what they were going to find. Um, I think that, you know, some of these people think it will help them, but I don't I don't really see that. I mean, it's, it makes me sad that this wasn't set up properly and these people were put in danger. Wedding says that the day of the tent collapse was chaotic and it seemed like a scene out of a movie and not something that she would expect from her small mountain town. Live here in Lancaster, Stephanie Woods, WMUR News 9.